So here I am in Accra and we are visiting the biggest mosque. The in second, the second biggest mosque in West Africa. Oh wow, the second biggest mosque in West Allah. Africa. I always feel that uh, Ghanaians are, no majority are Christians. Allah. Where you find yourself in Ghana, please, I think you should endeavor to visit the mosque. <laughs> Beautiful morning to you wherever you are in the world. Oh, sorry. Uh, whichever day it is to you, wherever you are. Um, my G is trying to correct me that this is afternoon, and that's why I always say good morning, good afternoon, good evening to you wherever you are in the world. Yeah, it's afternoon right now here, and um, I'm still in uh, Ghana. So here I am in uh, Accra, and uh, we are visiting the biggest mall, mosque. In the second. Uh, Second biggest mosque in West Africa. Oh wow, the second biggest mosque in West Africa. So automatically, it is the biggest mosque in, in Ghana, Ghana. But the second in West Africa. In the West Africa. Yeah. So I want to take you down there. But meanwhile, uh, ordinarily I always feel that uh, Ghanaians are, you know, majority are Christians. Maybe like 90 something percent. So this is my first time of, uh, you know, seeing. Uh, a mosque or hearing that uh, we have a Muslim community in Ghana so which is very nice so we're going to the mosque and see what the mosque uh, really looks like how big it is if truly is the second biggest in West Africa or in Africa in West Africa West Africa okay guys sorry I'm not with the drone this time around so it will be difficult for us to give you the area view of the mosque but however i will try my best possible to bring it to you in a way that you will enjoy it so stay tuned and uh, keep watching so we're almost there maybe in five minutes time maybe in five minutes time oh is that it? Uh, oh that's it over there this this mosque is uh, how do you call it collaboration from Ghana government and Turkish government. Oh. Actually, the plan is from Turkey. So everything, when you go to Turkey, you see the same mosque over there. Same mosque, okay. Yeah, so from the plan, everything is from Turkey. So oh. even when, when, when you get inside the mosque, you're going to see Turkish and Ghana flag. Oh, wow. So it, it's, a, it's a collaboration from the Turkish government and Ghana And government. the Ghana government. Yeah. Okay, wow. Okay, so guys, just uh, stay tuned and uh, keep watching. So guys, this is the mosque. So from it you can see National Mosque Complex, Accra, Furkan Mosque and Complex. So today is a Friday, it's Jumat. Yeah, so today is Juma Mubarak. So we're gonna get in touch, so we're gonna write our names. Yeah, because we are tourists. Yeah. So we're gonna write our name over here. We are allowed us to do whatever we want to do. Because we are not coming for free. Okay, okay. Okay. Salam alaikum. Okay, this is not the main gate. Okay, thank you. So it's like uh, we have to go to the main gate. This yeah. is not the main gate from what the security man just told us. You know, I, I thought you can also write your name over here. Oh, okay, okay. That's right. Right. I saw two of you. So I thought we can also write our name over here. That's why I want I want I want us to use this gate. So we're gonna use the main one and then we write our name over there. So which building is this uh, Pinar School? Yeah, it's, it's a school. Oh. They have football park in, in it. Football park? Yeah, they have that. Track, okay. Yeah. Like, not a big one, but something that is comfortable for the students to play whenever okay. they, they, they have games. 
such as football, basketball, and for, bas for basketball, they have a court close to the school, so they don't what am I going to a log? These are just like a minute's walk, one or two minutes to get to the basketball court. So this is the part. So I guess that's the main gate. And this is their basketball court. For this school? Yeah, for the school. But it, the, 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 the school is not under the... Uh, it's not part of the mosque, is it? It's part of the mosque? Yes. Oh. I, I don't know if they have started operating the school or not. Oh, okay, okay. I don't know if they have started operating the school. You okay? Oh, 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 it's still part of the uh, program, or what would I say, the initiative of uh, building uh, a mosque uh, by the Ghana government and the Turkish government. You can see. Wow, this place is actually built. You can see people praying right now. This is the main gate. These are the things they have in the complex. National Marks of Ghana, Office of the National Chief Imam, Conference Room, Clinic, Car Park, Ablution Area, Janaza Service, the National Library, Udai Foundation, Udai Ladies Islamic Center, DMSA Office, Swinikli International Senior High School, and then they have a cafeteria. So, all of this and this great mosque. So guys, let's see what exactly is inside the mosque, how the mosque looks like and the, the environment. So, so this is the school and this is the administration office. It's like they just finished observing the Jumats they just finished praying. We're being asked that, uh, you know, when we came in, they were observing a Jumat service, and uh, it won't be polite for us to be covering while uh, people are having Jumat service. So, so they now assigned someone to us uh, to take us around. It looks very well organized, uh, place. it's a very organized place, so that's why we are here. So, this is a man uh, taking us around. Sir, what's your name, sir? Yeah. Yeah. Sayid. 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 Yeah, wow. So that's the man that will be taking us around. Mr. Sayid. Something I observe, which also amazed me, on getting here, I discovered that they do have a... Okay. Okay. So welcome to the Ghana National Mosque. This is the Ghana National Mosque. It was brought by the Turkish and then the Turkish government. They were not contributing from the Ghanaian people or Ghanaian government in building this whole place. It started from the year 2012 till 2020. But because of Corona, we had to open it to the public in 2021. Oh, yes, in Africa, just two of this CAA manifest. We have one in Mali and we have one in Ghana. But um, that of Mali is a little bit bigger than this. Than this. And then the biggest one happened to be in Istanbul, the Blue Mox. Oh, yes, that is the biggest. So it being biggest, it has six minarets. So these are the minarets. Yeah. Oh, okay. so that's what we call the minarets. That of Mali and Ghana is four. But that of the one in um, Turkey is six. Yes. So, so why this one is two? 
Yeah, this one is two because it's smaller. Okay, okay. Yeah, it, it's four rather. So okay. Two in front, two in front, two at the back. Two at the back. Okay. So it's, it's small, which makes the minari few. Oh. Okay. The biggest one is six, and then the minari are six. Um, um, the biggest one are six minari. Sorry. Okay. Yes. So it's a complex, not just the mocks. Wow. But it's happening to be the biggest building, the mocks. So whenever tourists come around, they are just focused on seeing the mocks. But we have, we have like a, a, a whole lot of things to be like um, to visit here too. Yes, we have a school, we have a clinic here, we have a radio station, we have um, a Turkish department that operates from these premises. Okay. So this is the school right here. It's a boys school. It's Tonic International. But in short, it's Tina School. Tina School. It's okay. Tina school. It's a boarding school for students all over the world, Africa and world. The third building you see over there is administration. Yes, yes, we saw that. We saw that earlier. This is the block. Okay. So in this block, we have the Turkish embassy that operates from this. The Turkish embassy operates from this. So if anyone wants to travel to Turkey, get the visa, they have to come here. So if maybe the person has been addressed to come see the department over here for further processing of his visa, of his view, will come here. Come down to this place. Yes. Okay, so okay, so okay. So those red indication on the wall, that is the department from which the Turkish embassy operates from. Okay. And beneath it, there is an underground. So down there, we have a class for ladies to learn how to sew and then learn Arabic. Oh wow, that's yes. interesting. And this happens to be an apartment. This so, one? Yes, an apartment for the Ghana chief imam. The Ghana chief imam is a, a Muslim leader of the Ghanaian people. Okay. Yes, he is a, a Ghanaian Muslim. Okay. Chief okay. Imam. He has not moved in officially. Do, but whenever he's around and then he wants a place to lodge to hold meetings and other stuff there's a huge conference from over there that could hold more than 100 people yes, and then we have a clinic down there too there is an underground we have a clinic and then wow. um, a radio station wow yes so guys you had that so let's uh, go around and see what the place really looks like okay We have a section for the ladies as to where they break and then the guys or the men is with the Oh wow, this is beautiful. Wow, wow. So this is where the main prayer. The main prayer from this side. This side? Yes, just this side. And then the ladies pray up there. Oh, uh, it's a 15,000 capacity. The hub, mm. everything the together. Place, the whole complex. Okay. It's just the most so like in here with the food and people could pray from outside. Okay. People could pray from the car park. Okay. When you come, you could see some red indications. Yes, yes. So those are actually like similar to this. Okay, yes, yes, yes. And then the next worship from here to here. To here. Yes. Okay, this is where. This is where everyone faces. Yes, this is where we face this one. This is where we all face. Where the sun rises from, that is where you face and then you pray. Yeah, how many can pray in here? Well, my I can do it. I but the whole complex is a total of 15,000 rupees. So that's ton of them pray. Yes, 
you can see this mouse is very very magnificent I need to tell you that I'm telling you right now that this mouse is magnificent big and well structured Wow anyway um, I want to believe you enjoy what we've seen so far if you are visiting if you want to visit uh, Ghana I think this place should be one of uh, places that uh, you need to visit to see how great and wonderful and uh, marvelous uh, this uh, uh, mosque is. So as you can see we have some other uh, people from other parts of the country that are here to also uh, visit uh, uh, the mosque. So they are here on tourism. So. guys I want to believe that you've enjoyed today's uh, video so till I come your way with another wonderful and interesting video I remain your G Arenga say bye bye and oh double here from the central mosque which happens to be the biggest mosque in Ghana and the second biggest mosque in the whole West Africa I say Masala Kacha